Hey everyone. Well, welcome back everyone to Draw Every Day with JJK. I'm Jarrett J. Krasowska, the host of The Strong Show. Uh, this week we've been out in nature, getting some peace, getting some quiet, chilling out, zenning out a bit. Uh, now remember, I say this at the beginning of every show this week, you don't need to carry a drafting table and recording equipment out to the woods in order to achieve this peace and tranquility. This is just a ridiculous stunt for you two by having this drafting table here. And, and who knows where else I'm going to bring these, this drafting table as the months go on. Uh, most importantly, we're gonna talk about drawing from nature, drawing from observations, taking some time to just chill out and hang out. I'm going to make some watercolors today. I have a pad of watercolor paper here. Brought some water in a jar. have my watercolor set and I have a few brushes in my back pocket. Well, I had a few brushes in my back pocket. Now I just have one. So uh, down one brush, but that's okay. And what I wanted to do anyhow to challenge myself was to make a little watercolor sketch using a thick brush. Now when you paint with a thick brush, you're not going to get caught up in all of the details. Take a moment, I'm gonna look around, find something that interests me, and I wanna get a feel of the sense of where I am. And when I really stop and look, I see that everything is kind of on a slope over here. A lot of brown, some greens poking through. Now, the thicker my paint is, the more forward the image will come in space. But if I want some of those trees to look like they're going back in space, I'll water that color down. And just changing that thickness of the actual pigment will help me create some space. Now, one thing I don't have with me out here, I don't have my blow dryer. So right now my paint's very wet. I'm going to let it dry for a moment. And uh, while this paint dries, I'm going to give one of my friends a call. My friend Lauren Castillo has uh, this awesome new picture book. Well, it's not a picture book, it's a chapter book. It's a chapter book with a lot of pictures. It's called Our Friend Hedgehog. Lauren is known for, for writing and illustrating picture books. She even won a Caldecott honor for her very first published book. Uh, when, did, when was uh, Nana in the City? That was published maybe five or six years ago now, I think. Um, so, you know, Lauren has been around for a little bit now. She is incredibly talented. I wish I had the book here to show you. I, I have a copy, but as often happens, uh, my kids get a hold of the books 
and it gets lost in the void that is their bedrooms. Uh, so why don't I show you uh, some artwork magically appearing here in the woods of our friend Hedgehog. Uh, this, this book, it really feels like like the wind in the willows or the old Winnie the Pooh. It's, it's, a, it's a contemporary book that was just published this week, uh, but it has the feeling and the vibe of a classic. Now, again, I don't have my rotary phone, uh, but I do have a banana uh, that has seen better days. And I do have a Sharpie. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to draw a screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a zero for operator, the pound sign, the star symbol, and I'm going to give my friend Lauren a call. Lauren Castillo, thank you so much for coming on Draw Every Day. Hey, Jarrett. Hey everyone, my name is Lauren Castillo. I'm an author and an illustrator of many picture books and um, I have a new book coming out that is a chapter book called Our Friend Hedgehog. I'm so excited to be on the show today because I'm going to share a little bit about that new book with you and draw a character from it. Um, so let's get started. So in my newest book, our Friend Hedgehog, The Story of Us, is a chapter book, and the star of the story is, of course, Hedgehog. This is Hedgehog, and this is her best friend, Muddy, who, in the story, um, Hedgehog goes on a search for Muddy, who has been lost in a storm, and along the way, she ends up meeting all new friends, and so these are some of her new friends. There's Annika May, Mole, Beaver, Hen and Chicks. So today I'm going to show you guys how to draw Hedgehog, who is probably my favorite character to draw. Let me show you. This is where Hedgehog lives. She lives in Hedge Hollow. And her home is right there on Hedgehog's Island. So today we're going to draw with my favorite pen, which is a calligraphy Tumbow pen. Now you can draw with a crayon or a colored pencil a pencil, a ballpoint pen. I like to use all sorts of materials when I'm drawing, but today I'm gonna to use my favorite pen, which is a calligraphy pen. Um, and you'll notice that my sketchbook is relatively small. Uh, I like to draw small because for me, it keeps my lines nice and loose, and I really like a wonky drawing line. So we're gonna draw hedgehogs starting with her head. Should give her a little round noggin. And a kind of a ball of a nose for a little mouth. There's Hedgehog's eye. Hedgehog sort of has a worrisome little brow there. Give her an ear. And Hedgehog has hairs called spines. So we give her these spines for hair. Give her eye a little bigger eye. There we go. So Hedgehog, we're going to add her arm in here. Now what you'll notice about this pen is it's sort of running out of ink, but I like the way that it has a scratchy look to it. So don't get rid of your pens until they're completely out of ink, because you might like to have a pen that's kind of running out of ink for softer lines. So I use kind of the side of the pen and I create all these little spines on Hedgehog. Now she doesn't have as many spines on her belly. Just put a few in there. And we give her a little foot here. One in the back, one in the front. Now, Hedgehog has a few chick friends, or a couple chick friends, I should say, and their mom, Hen. So they're often around. We're gonna add Chick on her head because Chick is always getting into trouble. And likes to kind of climb all over everything. So here's Chick. Chick might be smelling the flower that Hedgehog is holding up for her. There we go. So we got Hedgehog's little flower. And we'll add some grass on the ground. Just a couple scribbles there. 
And there you have hedgehog and chick. Now, one thing um, that is a major characteristic of hedgehog is her rosy cheek. So I like to use a red colored pencil, give her a nice rosy cheek. And you can also add it to add a little bit of rosiness to her ear. And we will, let's see, add an orange flower to our drawing and just a little bit of grass. And these are watercolor pencils, so you can wet them. Wet your finger and make it look like, like it was painted. So there you have it. There is hedgehog and chick. Thanks so much for having me, Jarrett, and I hope you all will enjoy drawing something fun at your home today. Take care. Bye. Well, I want to thank Lauren Castillo for coming on to show us how she draws the hedgehog. Uh, her work is just so beautiful. I'm sure you know it already. Uh, definitely check out her latest entry, Our Friend Hedgehog, uh, a chapter book. I hope it's the first of many in the series. Well, let me get back to my, my little watercolor sketch here now. Um, I'm going to add some blues to create some shadows. And that is a much thicker blue than I wanted. So I'm going to pull some up. There we go. I'm going to add some more water to those blues. And remember, cold colors go back in space. Warm colors come forward.
One of the big differences between what I was doing in prior weeks with character work and watercolors and what I'm doing now is I'm letting the color dictate the form. I'm not letting the line dictate the form. I'm letting the light and shadow dictate the form. Instead of just uh, you know drawing the line work and then sort of coloring things in. Okay, well, there we have it. There is my quick watercolor study of my natural environment here in my backyard. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, oh, you know what? I almost forgot to check in with the pugs. Wait, before we go, let's check in with the pugs for pug cam. I am so happy that I did not forget the pugs, mostly because I know how many angry emails I would get from people all across the world who depend on seeing Ralph and Frank. So again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, to, thank you to Lauren Castillo uh, for, for joining us today. I hope that you keep making art. Uh, check out the awesome artwork that, that grown-ups have sent in. Uh, grown-ups can send in kid artwork via my website, studiojjk.com. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Please click like and subscribe.